Hello, welcome to Avonic. My name is Sudhir Anandachar. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to present to you the novel epoxy curing agents that enable faster return to service in factory and field applied epoxy systems. Wet on wet epoxy coating refers to a method of applying an epoxy coating where additional coats are applied before the previous coats have cured. Epoxy systems can be used as primers or as an intermediate coat. The functional primer coat provides the corrosion and barrier protection to the steel and facilitates the intercoat adhesion and subsequent intermediate coat. It is essential that the epoxy primer develop its functional properties like hardness, cross-link density, glass transition temperature, and provide sufficient record window for the intermediate to layer. The recent trends and drivers in epoxy coating market suggest that unique characteristics of the epoxy curing agents can be capitalized by significantly lowering the cure time and thus enhancing the productivity and throughput in both factory and field applied systems. In this presentation, we will demonstrate the attributes of a novel polycyclic amine technology which can provide a rapid through cure and enables wet on wet applications. In this presentation, we will explore the Avonix fast cure systems and we will discuss the kinetics which is the key for the rapid property development of the epoxy coatings. We will discuss a new tool for faster, faster cross-linking, the new polycyclic amine development. And we also discuss a new generation of the high solids technology, polycyclic amine polyamides. And we will conclude this presentation with the key takeaways. Avonic is embarking upon the development of the new fast cure products to address the ever-changing market needs. Today's market demands faster return to service and to improve the productivity for coding various substrates. We are developing multiple technologies uh, across, various te uh, across various applications, including metal and concrete coatings. In the metal coatings, we are developing a new polyamine for faster productivity enhancement. We are working on other high solids polyamides. We are exploring the waterborne technologies for the rapid fast through cure systems. And we have a product line on polycarbamides for faster productivity uh, coatings. The epoxy resins react with amine curing agents to form a, a three-dimensional cross-linked network. The early stages of the cure is controlled by the reaction kinetics. On the later stages, the cure is driven by the diffusion process. The ultimate final properties dependent, is dependent upon the combination of the kinetics and diffusion rates. In the graph on the left side, we plot the viscosity versus percent conversion for the epoxy amine cure systems. Just to illustrate this point, if you have a shorter open time, it may lead to molecular gridlock and B-stage curing and requires a B-stage curing. On the other hand, if you have a longer open time with your epoxy amine systems, it may lead to a more complete cure for room temperature formulations. The various changes in the regulatory environment has changed the epoxy coating industry. The drive from low solids solvent bond coatings to higher solids with the low solvent demand systems. In this example, we demonstrate use of a typical polyamide curing agent in a 50% solids conventional 600 gram VOC coating and a 90% solids high solids 100 grams per liter VOC formulation. The conventional 50% solid systems with 600 grams of VOC had pot life of more than one day or more. The dry times were much shorter. You could get a lacquer dry in less than an hour. It has a much higher flexibility, providing longer overcoat window. As the solids improved and the, and the, num the amount of solvents came down in the formulations, it has resulted in less pot life. The today, the most pot life you can get in the 90% solids or higher solid systems is about two hours, with a dry time of greater than seven hours 
and much less window for the recordability. How can we accelerate the cure speeds of high solid systems? New polycyclic amine crosslinker, PolyHCA, is technology is developed to address the need for the faster dry and true cure in high solid epoxy systems. In this slide, we show we will demonstrate the dynamic through the dynamic mechanical analysis for the day one, which shows the poly HCA technology delivers a high degree of cure compared to a conventional polyamines in 2K epoxy systems. In this example, we compare the storage modulus of the poly HCA technology with an aliphatic amine and also a cycloaliphatic cyclo amine. On the graph on the left side, we plot the storage modulus versus temperature. As you can see, the storage modulus of the poly HCA amine remains flat which indicates a high degree of cure and no post cure in the rheometer. On the other hand, the aliphatic and the cycloaliphatic amines show large increase in the G prime of the storage modulus with a significant post cure in the rheometer. The storage modulus of the poly HCA technology is the lowest, indicating the highest degree of cure after day one. On the right side of this, this slide, we show the molecular weight between cross links for the poly HCA and uh, compare that to aliphatic and cycloaliphatic amines. The molecular weight for the cross link is low for the poly HCA technology and is constant for over seven days, indicating high levels of cross linking. The molecular weight between the cross link for the aliphatic and cycloaliphatics are very high after day one indicating a lower cross-link density. Cross-linking continues to develop over a seven-day period. How can we use this technology? Polycyclic amine curing agent derivatives we will demonstrate a practical use of new amine concept for faster productivity at ambient temperatures for factory applied curings. In this slide, we compare the performance properties of a conventional polyamide curing agent, the ANCOMI 2652, against the poly HCA derivative RDPA2. As you, key, as you can see from this chart, the, the gel time of the poly HCA derivative is about 22 minutes compared to 140 minutes for the ANCOMI 2652. The thin film set time is about two hours 45 minutes for the poly HCA derivative cured amine epoxy systems and it's about seven and a half hours for the conventional polyamide cured epoxy coding system. Poly HCA derivative, derivative also provides a increased enhanced persos hardness and also increased surety hardness as measured after day seven. We formulated the primers based on RPD, RP, RDPA2 derivative and we also formulated an epoxy primer based on an ANCOMIT 2652 which is a conventional polyamide. The PVC of this formulation is about 34%. We applied the primer onto the steel substrates and to demonstrate the cure the faster through cure of the RDPA2 derivative, we start dropping the cotton ball on the, on the, on the, on the curing surface. And we, we, we measured the amount of time that it takes to drop the cotton ball off the substrate. Uh, off the substrate. As you can see, the epoxy primer based on RD, RDPA2 derivative, the cotton ball dropped off in about 15 minutes. But the cotton ball stuck to the substrate for more than an hour and a half for the conventional polyamide, which is ANCOMIT 2652. This clearly demonstrates that the, the primer based on the RDPA2 delivers rapid cure in about 
and, and, it, and it is ready to receive the next layer of coating in about 15 minutes. In this slide, we demonstrate the curing properties of the RDPA2 based primers. We formulated a, a primer and applied on the surface and let it cure for 15 minutes. The primer was spray applied using a conventional spray gun at 3 mL wet film thickness. We let the primer cure for about 15 minutes and at the end of the 15 minutes, the top coat was spray applied using conventional spray gun at 4 mL wet film thickness. The polycarbamide top coat was dry to touch after 25 minutes. The entire application was complete in about 40 minutes time. The RDPA2 base primers also provide very good corrosion protection. We formulated high solids epoxy primer containing an anti-corrosive pigment, the zinc phosphate, and we spray applied the primers onto steel substrates at two mils dry film thickness. And we conducted the salt spray test for 1,000 hours. As you, key, as you can see from this slide, the RDPA two-waste primer and ANCOMATE 2652 primer, which is based on the conventional polyamide technology, had similar corrosion performance. Avonic is interested in bringing this fast cure aspect to these new polycyclic amine derivatives into various markets that have such requirements, which includes exterior application and also factory applied systems. In the factory applied systems, this technology enables wet on wet systems. That means it provides a faster and rapid through cure, which enables additional layers that can be sprayed upon onto the substrate. In summary, the polycyclic amine derivatives described in this presentation meets an industry driver for productivity and pro by, by providing faster cure. The new polycyclic amine technology is two to three times faster than the conventional polyamides. The new polycyclic amine technology enables faster through cure, providing rapid property development without sacrificing the corrosion protection. The polycyclic amine derivative allows for faster overcoat and multi-layer buildup of a poly polycarbamide and polyaspartic technologies. The several prototypes have been developed based on this new polycyclic amine technology. If you have, for more information, please visit our website for a complete description of this technology. Thank you very much.